Oh man, what's really good though, family tree? Oh man, it's like three shows in one day. Cheese and peas, it's going off today, family. So I would love for you guys to actually um, holler at me via the comment section, okay? Holler at me via the comment section. Let me know that you're here with us. Rich LK's up in the building. Big Fred is here as well. So it's gonna be a monumental show today. Buddha Bing is up in here as well. And we're gonna do something that hasn't been done uh, for a long, long time, okay? Now, of course, I'm gonna say this, right? I don't have no animosity against uh, Christian Prince. I quite love him, I told you already, he's one of my teachers, so I humble myself to the brother. Um, he's very knowledgeable, more knowledgeable than myself um, when it comes to Islam. I will humbly admit that and say that. Um, you know, he's more knowledgeable than me in terms of Arabic and everything else, right? Because he's, he's Christian Prince, he is the man in charge, right? So I don't ever have anything negative to say about Christian Prince, it's just that we're gonna have a discussion that hopefully will unfold this topic to you guys you guys get to learn he gets to pick my brain i get to pick his brain and we can all learn together there isn't no losers there isn't no winners you know we're all going to be winners at the end of the day because we're all going to gain some knowledge and go back home with something okay um and that's my whole objective today is to kind of educate everybody unfortunately um, you know, I've, I've engaged in a lot of discussions and debates with Muslims, and I've kind of been blacklisted. <laughs> Truth be told, I've been actually blacklisted where a lot of Muslims, in terms of that have a difference of opinion with me, don't actually want to engage with me because I don't. I believe they don't want to get shown up. All right, and that's those ones who are being ignorant. There are quite a lot of great Muslims that you know frequent our channels and come on. They have discussions with us and so forth, and it's always awesome. We always get to learn from each other, and that's great. But you know, when you go to speakers' corner, they don't want to touch me at all. They already know what time it is. Okay, it's going to be peak. So of course, we're going to move on to our Christian brethren, and of course, you know, to be honest with you, I don't. Have have any you know much disagreements with the christian um you know faith at all i think it's an excellent you know way of life if that's your choice okay just the way islam is excellent choice if that's the way you want to practice i don't have no problem with you i'm not trying to convert you the only thing i'm trying to teach everybody here is to be critical thinkers and to take an academic approach um with whatever we're dealing with right that's that's just me full stop so um, this could overshadow uh, hijab and, and woods debate truth be told it should it should it really should <laughs> Yeah, I think he took our last video um, Led him to take it personally the energy is wild. Is this the time to take the debate without a moderator? I think we're gonna have like a nice little discussion uh, And then hopefully I would love for you to come on if you can't get onto his channel to Kia watch Please just message me um, in hangouts, right? So I can send you this link and then we can promote you and we could tell Christian Prince this set up a future debate right but let's just have a little dialogue in between so um yeah to key watch just quickly message me um yeah message me uh and then we can get you on to do that okay um shout out to my brother Buddha Bing um I don't think we know yes Buddha Bing I don't think we're gonna have a, like a proper debate today or anything like that. I don't even think there's, I don't know if there's a need to debate, to be honest with you. We're just gonna have a nice little conversation and then hopefully we can maybe do a debate out of this. I don't know. So we'll see. I was, Please give the I was, that lady, the blonde lady, the yeah, American I was listening to, I'm still listening to his show right now, actually. Um, you know, it's so lady, funny, so, so, so funny. Question, I'm actually gonna quickly try to um, no, call him on Skype and see if we can do that, right? So just bear with me for a hot second. Let's see if I can load up my Skype and uh, give him a call, okay? So, I'm not too sure if this will work or not, but let's see what happens, okay? Let me share my screen with you guys. Do, 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 do. So, we've got Christian Prince right here. Let's see if this works, okay? Don't mind me if it doesn't work and it just flops, right? I'm just trying to think. Um, okay, I think this is it. Would you call? Let's try that. Let's see that works. Hello. Hello. Peace, peace, peace. Um, Christian, hey, peace. Hey, Lam, how are you? What happened, man? <laughs> who is, who, which article you are reading for me saying that those hadith are not correct and they are not uh, sahih? Where do you get this from? Uh, now, this is actually one of my original research. Um, you know, I've heard this topic be mentioned. I've seen loads of great Christian apologetics, um, you know, go ham and hard at this. And I said, okay, let me actually do my research because I'm a person, I'm not, you know, Muslim, I'm not Christian, I'm nothing like that. I just. But let us go, let us, let us cut the cake. Mm -hmm. Where 
where you got your reference that those hadith are not sahih? Okay, so I um, I utilized uh, the science of hadith. So if you are aware, no, no, don't, don't give me give me the, the, the direct answer. Who is the scholar who said that those hadith are not sahih? Okay, so I myself uh, done the research myself, and I no, see you yourself. You are a scholar. I'm mm -hmm. asking you, my friend. Who is the scholar who said that those hadith are not sahih? Okay, uh, let me finish, okay? So I myself done the research and um, my conclusion, my own personal research. My but... friend, you are not answering. Yeah. I don't care for your conclusion okay. with my respect okay. to you. I want the scholar, the Muslim scholar who said that those, those hadith are not sahih. Okay, so the first person uh, that actually makes mention of this is Imam Malik. Imam Malik says that the hadith... Imam, show, show me the hadith. It says that Imam Malik said that Aisha was not six years old um he does not make mention of that he says that the narrations coming from hisham ibn urwa after he's my friend, moved my friend who care about hisham ibn urwa we have many narration the narration is not coming from hisham ibn urwa anyway okay the so narration we, we is coming from aisha who said what is hisham ibn urwa in the hadith okay so let me i'm sharing my screen i'm actually on my channel right now as well live streaming so if i can just um you know share it with my audience i don't know if you're able to no you won't be able to see my screen at all oh. No, um, my friend, my friend, I'm my gonna friend, quickly. My friend, my friend, my friend. My friend. Yeah. This hadith is mentioned by many, many people. It's not. It's actually it's coming from. No, it, it does. No, it does. It does. It does. All right. And as you see, the Muslim scholars agree. Huh? Okay. With all respect, Christmas. Let me just finish speaking. Right. So we all have, right. um, you know, the hadith. There is 19 different places in the Sahih Sitta, in the uh, six great books of of hadith collections. Right. Out of the 19, 14 of them trace back to Hisham ibn Ura, two of them traces back to um, Al Amish, two of them trace back to Abu Ubaida, and one of them traces back to Abu Salama ibn Abdul Rahman. Okay, mm -hmm. so in seeing that, right, um, I've done my research on this, uh, utilizing the science of hadith, and it, we've come to the conclusion that the five categories of what makes a hadith sahih. All right, um, which is, let me quickly tell you what the five categories are. It is to do with whether the narrations or the narrators, should I say, are reliable and of good memory. Okay, let, us, let, us cut, let, let us cut this. Listen, do you see the screen? Do you see my screen? Um, I don't at present. Give me a second. Let me go on to your channel and have a look. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, Christian Prince. Here we go. Okay. Does it say Sahih? Uh, give me one second. I'm, it's just an ad that's playing right now. Give me one second okay skip ad and here we go um we it says sahih at the bottom okay. of the screen Correct. so now what we will do what would i do um what book is this coming what from would do if it says sahih i mean you you know you see you look like you do not know what islam is about when when the muslim they say that there's narration of a person is not sahih does not mean that hadith itself is not sahih as an example the one who recited the quran himself he was accused to be a fraud corrupt a thief and a liar and the same as his father the quran you read today is quran of hafs i can show you right now actually i did it in your program do you remember of course of course okay so hafs himself is rejected in the hadith accepted in the quran correct correct okay so why they accept the quran that's very that's a good question very good question okay so no 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 you see the the, the the good question is here is no we cannot take somebody says because malik he said this guy the, the you know the, the muslim scholars they have to agree that this hadith is rejected or accepted and they agree that it is accepted mm -hmm. all islamic fatwa you can go and search right now not even an, Isl an islamic center who have scholars agree that those hadith are not sahih and i won't disagree so with you I don't mean, don't 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 let them fool you and say to you oh this guy you know there is somebody said that he's a liar all of them they are liars who said that al-bukhari is not a liar <laughs> who said that muhammad is not a liar who said that aisha is not a liar all of them they are liars so my friend when the muslim they say that they are lying at each other and lying about their prophet that's not my problem that is their problem same time here we go we have the liar saying that this is a sahih hadith what we will do with it indeed so let me if i'm if i have the possibility to actually speak I don't disagree with you um, in terms of it's been labeled as Sahih, right? Um, but the problem is that a lot of people are under the false conceptualization that everything inside of Sahih Bukhari or Sahih Muslim is actually Sahih. And that's usually just the layman, they actually have that opinion. But the actual scholars, and I'm reading from a book now called the, um, 
Let me just quickly get it. So it's called the textbook of Hadith studies on page 38. It says in there, thus it is noted that uh, of the total of 400 or th 430 or so of al-Bukhari's transmitters, only about 80 have been questioned or labeled as weak. Whereas of the total of 620 narrators of Muslim, the uh, critiques have raised questions over 160. Okay, friend, let me just finish, sorry, let me, sure. can I just, can I just finish, hold on, hold on, I just wanna finish hold on, hold on. this last point. Show me the scholar who say that this hadith is specifically in Sahih al-Bukhari is not accepted. Okay, so if I could just finish, it says here, about 89 of al-Bukhari's hadith have been identified to have some defect, whereas in Muslim collections, such as such hadith had been numbered at 100, okay? So over here, we can see that we have at least 89 in Bukhari. First of all, first of all okay. who is the one who numbered those 100? Who okay. are they? Okay. So if we go inside of the book, there is the footnote which alerts us to exactly who these scholars actually are, who says these things. I'm just going to just put it out there to get in people's mind. What, that what book you are reading from? This is, uh, this is from a textbook of Hadith studies. My friend, this is not a scholar book. This is a book about the Hadith. Somebody coming in with his opinion saying, I say this. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. I can play for you right now. I can show you tons of thousands of videos speaking about how accurate Sahih al-Bukhari Sahih al Bukhari is the second book after the Quran. So, anyone want to say it is not true? He have a problem to show us where he got this from. Okay. My brother, not, not, not every narration in Sahih Bukhari is authentic. The kalam is no, right there. First of all, Sahih al Bukhari is one of six narrations of six authentic hadith according to the Muslim Sunni. Yes. Second, in your video, you said that the one who says in the Quran, marrying from young is Ibn Abbas, right? Who said that this is Ibn Abbas? All the scholars agree about this. Okay, can we just stick to one point and, and then move on? Yeah, we are, because we have to connect. You see, Quran, we give you Quran. Are you going to say the Quran is weak too? Okay, so if we could just stick to one point, let's just stick to the... Hadith, but about the hadith we just read, that the guy, his name is Jabir, and Muhammad is asking him to go and marry a child. I'm with you, Christian Prince. Well, if we could just stick to one topic and move on from there, at least we can conclude without actually conflating issues. So, um, as we were speaking about earlier on, right, so we have in there, well, out the 19 different hadiths, five of them are coming from Hisham ibn Urwa, and we can go, we can open up right now onto Islam web, and we can see what the actual scholars had to say. We can go and check out to see what Malik uh, ibn Anas had sure. to say, what Yaqub well, ibn Sheba had to say. I, just what saw, I don't, had to I don't say. know how, how, how long you are with me. Okay. I just showed you that what the Muslims' refutation to the lies for those who say she was 18 and she was not 16. Okay, that's because the Muslims are refuting the Muslims, my friend. Okay, that's a separate argument. I haven't put forward an argument to say what age Aisha was. I'm simply putting forward the argument that the hadith is not reliable. It's a weak hadith that should not be accepted in the who, first who, who place. Who said it's weak? Who is the one who okay. said it's weak? So I'm, I'm, I've, said friend, it, I've said it already. Malik ibn my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. When the Muslim scholars, they say that this is a sahih hadith, and then you get somebody else saying to you, this is a weak hadith. Who is the stupid here? Okay, so, so because somebody has gathered up a hadith, right, and said that they've entitled, they themselves have entitled their book, uh, well, actually, they haven't even entitled their book as such, but let's just pretend that they've entitled their book Sahih. It doesn't mean that when somebody else comes along now and actually critiques their work, that everything in there is actually Sahih. It's, it's kind of being very pumped to think to yourself that I am correct and everybody else must be wrong. Every human being is fallible. So therefore, um, uh, Bukhari's is book not, is valuable because we can find that Muslims, the hadith is this not This is not sahih. what Muslims believe. Because if the Muslims believe in this, first of all, then they will not accept a book it's called Sahih al-Bukhari or Sahih Muslim. Because who is Sahih al-Bukhari? To be able to be having a book it's called Sahih. How a person can remember thousands of hadith unless he is a liar. This is impossible. Nobody can remember by word, by name, by details. It's impossible. And you, you should agree with me, right? Indeed. Like I now, I tell you, Indeed. if I tell you like, the names of uh, a bunch of friends and they, we sit together and then you go and you remember the story and you remember the names and you remember every word I say. And we are talking about thousands and thousands of stories. That is impossible. There's no brain can do it. Okay. Can I oh. quickly just let you know as well, right? Because I know everybody's underneath the false conceptualization that this book, Sahih Bukhari, is Sahih. Right. Um, and to my knowledge, it, it, it wasn't actually even called Sahih Bukhari itself. It's other people that have given it the title Sahih. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Originally, it was something called the Jamia, the, the collection of of hadiths, etc., etc., etc. Why they give it this title? Those because people. they themselves believe that it was the most uh, authentic book after 
um, after the Quran, right? So they believe that it was the most authentic. Now, of course, human beings, we can be, yes, we can, uh, we, uh, we can, can we well, can uh, be the, the website I just showed, those scholars in Islam, fatwa.com, etc. Why they are saying that those are absolutely sahih? Do you think that you have more knowledge than them about who is uh, sahih narration or he's not? I would say evidently. Do you think they are better than you or you are better than I would them? say evidently I prove based upon my research and my evidence that my conclusion proves to be true. So therefore my, my results is better than So you than are the results. one who don't speak Arabic. You know more than the scholars who speak Arabic and they are Muslims. When it comes to, when it comes to this point itself, if I've done a research on this, and my, what research? You my, do not do any research. What is research? Because my friend, you know, in order to to refuse somebody hadith, you have to refuse all his hadith. Okay. So now search for this name. Is all his hadith is rejected, or only this is the hadith they don't want like it? No, it's the hadiths. Okay, according to Malik, yeah, um, which I should bring <laughs> up on the. I should really just bring this up real quickly, right? Okay. According to Malik, he says that um, you know, after he moved. You know, Hisham ibn Murwa moved to Iraq when he was around, around 71. We do not accept any of his hadiths, okay? Everything from that point on is weak. He was an old man. Okay, hold, well, other hold people on, hold actually on, said hold on, hold on, he's hold on. an Guys, old man. This so, guy, after he we moved to Iraq, he became a liar. Before he go to Iraq, he was honest. Yes, and that's why nobody from how Medina... You know, and how you know that this hadith is written before, after he moved to Iraq? Because none of the Medinian scholars, such a... But none that, of the Medinian scholars have... None of, no, tell me... How they knew if nobody even knows when Muhammad was exist? No, there's no date. There's no years. And even the Muslim don't agree about the date of his birth as a year. Agreed. How I, did you? How they knew? I'm, I'm agreeing with you. I, 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 don't have, I don't have any like disagreements with you on that. But I just want to keep to the topic, right? So if so, I can get, see, if I can get just look, one minute, no, if I get look, one look, minute. Wait, to wait, speak. wait, wait, wait. You see, you said something very important. We mm -hmm. have to focus with it a little bit. Okay. So now. If we have here, if we have a person is not approved, either he is a liar or he is not. He cannot be honest when he was here and he is dishonest when he went there. That is not logical and nobody will believe it is garbage. Okay. So Imagine I say Kalam is an honest person when he was in New York, but became a liar when he went to uh, California. Who is going to believe in this? Okay. So I don't think, if I get one minute just to speak, okay, just one minute. That's all I'm asking you for. Okay, I don't think anybody calls him a liar. Nobody says he's kazad in any of the, um, you know, so any, any, anything so at all. All they simply is. say, okay, let me just quickly read out what the scholars say. It's in Arabic and English. It says here, Yaqub ibn Sheba says, uh, he, Hisham, is highly reliable. Okay, highly reliable. His narratives is, is acceptable, except what he narrated after moving to Iraq. Malik ibn Anas now says, near enough, the same thing. Okay, he now says, um, you know, he, he basically says the same thing that he does different recitations. He narrates um, Ursul or, or Mursal Hadiths basically on behalf of his father. Then you have so Sahel ibn Abi Saleh said that he's mingled and changed things up and his memory, um, you know, decreased or, or went downhill. Um, in his old age. Then you have other people as well, um, you know, such as, who do we have here? We have the people of Iraq, Mama, all say that, you know, he, he, he started to be confused when he started narrating in Iraq. So it's after a certain period of time, he started narrating certain things, which the earlier scholars or the people of Quraysh themselves never had any knowledge about. And that's why they say they rejected everything from him at the point of Iraq, because he was an old man that possibly went senile, possibly lost his memory and started confusing things. Therefore, you never see in, in the Muatta of Ibn Malik, that's the only of the seven books, right? That you don't see Aisha being nine years of age. If you go into the uh, fiqh of uh, Abu Hanifa, they tell you that a, a, uh, a child becomes an adult at the age of 18 years of age. This is according to Abu Hanifa school. Let me ask you, let me ask you, have you ever heard of an imam, his name is al Hafil? Al sorry? al Hafil, al imam al Hafil. No, I haven't. So he confirmed that she was six years old, and even he confirmed that at the time of Khaybar, she was at the age uh, seven. At Khaybar? What no, I think, I think it's 14 at Khaybar, they say, according to Ibn Hajar. Oh, hold on, hold on. No, no, actually, they say, they say, they are saying to you uh, 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 that Khaybar, Khaybar was, it was seven. Now, they say that Aisha, she was at the, at the attack of Khaybar, she was at the age of 14, and at that time, she don't even have her period. 
Yes, and she was playing with dolls, according to all the story. All right, and she 100%. was playing with dolls. Okay, hold yes. on. So now, uh, uh, as long as they are confirming that at that time she was still 14, then we can just count how many years from Khaybar backward, and we will find the age of Aisha. Definitely, and I, I, I won't. I won't disagree with so you. Okay, I won't, I won't disagree with you because that's that's. If read al khatabi let me read, let me show you on the screen. Here we go. قال الحافظ قال الخطابي, and this is not the one you don't like. The one they say is a liar. Okay, it was allowed for Aisha to play, for she is not mature. I said to confirm this. Uh, about about its possibility because Aisha she was by the time of Khaybar the attack of Khaybar not Khaybar the attack of Khaybar at the age of 14 years old and maybe she complete 14 or she passed or even close so he's not sure if 14 past 14 13 going on 14 is something like that mm -hmm. and he say but in the attack of Tabuk she was for sure not sure. Okay, mm -hmm. and this is and this is he continued this. Patan, فيترجح رواية من قال في خيبر. So it is uh, it is more it's more uh, reliable to say that it is ab about uh, her age when she was in خيبر. كانت سنتو سبع. Okay, so he is saying خيبر was in the year of seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, if we go and we calculate the years, what that what that will make Aisha? Yeah. So again, Christian Prince, um, unfortunately, you know, I, I'm taking an academic approach, looking at it from. Yes, a we are taking. Uh, we are, no, we are quoting we're, for we're you not. reference from scholars. We're not. I'm not going to scholars right no, now. I'm no. Not the going problem to... is what the problem is. You are quoting what Muslims they claim about a guy, and they themselves they say. That this guy is very trustworthy when they want. When they want, they say he is not a trustworthy. Because everybody will, will laugh if you say, Christian Prince, he is honest when he is in the kitchen, but he is not honest after he moved to the living room. There's nobody will accept such a garbage, my friend. This is not academic. All right. This, so if you this is. This is an opinion of a guy. Maybe he is jealous from this guy. Maybe they don't like him. Okay. Maybe he's from different sect. Maybe they are trying to to uh, to to, uh, to to put him down because this is exists always in the Islamic history. As an example, there's many writers they speak against Al Bukhari. Even some of them they accuse him that he is not even a Muslim. Uh, even some they say he never exists. Even they some they say how he can remember and he can memorize even when he was a blind. So. There's right. tons of his stories. Everybody come with his story. No problem. Now, if we, if we read together, my friend. Okay, can I can I just get two minutes? I just want two minutes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So two minutes. So you know, first of all, I just want to make this clear, right? Um, in terms of tafsirs, in terms of commentaries from scholars and so forth, right? I'm not going to deny that they believe that Aisha was nine years of age when the consummation took place. I'm not even going to deny that most mis Muslims, you know, no matter how perverse this idea is, right, actually believe and acknowledge that Aisha was nine years of age when Muhammad consummated the marriage. They even go as far as to say that they believe that Aisha was six years old when the Prophet was having some type of sexual or dream with her about the angel and so forth. I'm not going to deny all those things. I'm going to say, yes, this is what it says, and this is what the commentary says about this, okay? Push that aside for a hot minute, right? Because that's what Muslims say. That's a Muslim argument. I'm not having it, okay? The argumentation I'm having is an academic one. I'm going from a chronological perspective, okay? Is it as though what, what actually happened during the lifetime of the Prophet, what happened during the, um, you know, the following years of the Prophet with the Sahabas, what happened with the Tabayin, what happened with the Tabah Tabayin, and then what happened, with the, the, and, and what happened with the Fiqh, uh, the, the Faqiha, the, 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 um, juris, the, the um, jurisprudence uh, scholars and so forth, right? How did things actually evolve with the idea that Aisha was but nine years friend, you're of quoting age. for me, you are talking too much, but you are not saying to me, what does this have to do with this? Okay. This hadith is a by Muslims. So, okay, so I'm not talking again. Oh, I'm, I'm Muslims, trying to tell you. To, if, we, if we go right now, to, if we go right now, me and you, okay, to the I'm, official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, do I you think it's you. for their effort I, to I, say? I, I hear you. This is what Muslims believe. Sense, but he's not. Do you think they are not academic? But you are the guy who do not know how to read Arabic or to write Arabic. 
you know what academic mean okay do you, do you think that the one who get phd in islam and teach in islamic university in the city of mecca and al-medina they are not academic but you are the one who do not know two words in arabic you are academic yeah because i've spoken to a lot of muslims okay. and a lot really? of intelligent just, muslims oh, and a lot of muslims that have been studied in medina and a lot of them have to humble themselves before me to, to say that, you know what, you know more than 90% of Muslims. And the reason why I do is because I study from an academic stance rather than a religious uh, believer stance where I have to believe this stuff. I'm coming from an objective stance where I don't have to believe it. And I don't have to follow the, the, the propaganda. So what I'm simply saying is, can we do that? Can we be objective rather than having a Christian Muslim um, debate? Can we just be objective? So if we are being objective right now, let's actually see what the early um, early people thought. Did any of the Sahabas believe that Aisha was nine years of age? Did they? Did any of them have that understanding? Did the following generation have that understanding? No, the earliest time this actually came in was almost 150 years later with a person called Hisham ibn Urwa. And the uh, scholars of that time rejected Hisham ibn Urwa, but a few of them accepted his narrations and now it became popular and a lot of Muslims accept it and believe it today. Okay, I'm just showing you the chronology of how this actually came about. Christian Prince, are you still there? I don't know. I think Christian Prince might have hanged up on me. Let me just double check on his channel and see if he has. God damn. That is a joke. Yeah. So if you want to talk in academic. Yeah, it seems as though Christian Prince has hanged up. Okay, I think he was disconnected. I think there is a big misunderstanding. Right, Islam. Okay, so uh, what are you guys saying? Christian Prince sounds like a... <laughs> All right, so let me know, family. Um, you guys would know best whether I should ring him back, okay, or don't ring him back, okay? Did he hang up on me? Did he hang up on me? Just answer that question, yes or no. Did Christian Prince hang up on me? I don't want to know. I don't, don't tell me to call him back. I'm asking you guys, did he lock off the phone on me? Okay, you're not saying don't call, you're not saying ring him back, you're saying yes, he did. One person is saying no, two persons saying no, I don't know. All right, so I'm going to try to ring him back and see what does happen. Okay. Yo, Callum, yo, Callum, you should have gave him the fatwa of Malik about the character about Ibn Hashim. You should have just gave him that. Wow, I don't think he wants to take it. I don't personally think he wants to take it, but let's actually see. Um, if we can actually do that because i've shown this evidence you know time and time again what malik has to say about him okay malik says you know i spoke with a hadith denied it so da, da, da. okay look, look even the people of quarish you know look, look, look. ali ibn abi um sorry ali ibn al madini big boy scholar again said that yahya ibn said said hisham ibn Orwa said i sat in a council with a congregation of quarish I spoke with a hadith and they denied it okay or some of them denied it this is just a google translation Right? So already the people at the time, okay, the people at the time of um, Hisham ibn Urwa, they were saying, nah, get the hell out of there with them type of argument, with them type of, um, you know, hadiths. Yahya ibn uh, Ma'in saw Malik ibn Anas, okay, in a place called Naum and asked him, um, Hisham ibn Urwa, asked him about Hisham ibn Urwa. He said, uh, what he narrated in our presence is correct and what he narrated after he came out of us is weak, right? So all of these people, Okay, it's not just one person. Look, Yaqub ibn Sheba, Imam Malik, um, Abu Hassan ibn Katan, Suhail ibn Abi Salah, the people of Iraq, Mama, all of them saying, we reject, we reject what um, Hisham ibn Urwa has to say. He was a confused old man who lost his mind, right? This is what they're saying, okay? And I'm only quickly, I'm just pre presenting this to you guys, right? I'm not trying to say, you know, Islam is the correct religion to go or, or Christianity is the correct religion. I'm just showing you what I, what conclusion that I came to. And I'm sharing it with you guys, right? This is what we call an academic approach. It's, there's no biasness. I'm not rooting for Islam or against Islam. I'm just giving you my humble uh, research. I'm presenting it in front of you guys and you guys can make up your own minds yourself, okay? So yeah, um, I'm gonna try to ring back uh, Christian Prince, see if that works. If he doesn't answer, I take it he doesn't wanna hear from me. And I guess he just wants to push his own narrative. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? There's nothing wrong with that. 
If that's what you want to do, run away from the truth, baby. <laughs> All right, let me try back Christian Prince one last time. If it, if it doesn't go well, I'm sorry, okay? I will, I will give you time, you know, just to, to close this topic. Okay. So what we will do now, Kalam, do you think you are the right one? Are you sure you are the right one and the scars of Islam are the stupid ones? I would say that my sources speak for themselves. So you have no sources, my friend. You, you could not find me one hadith, one person saying that this hadith is fabricated. Okay, I'm saying that the person himself, right, who narrates the hadith. Man, no, 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 don't tell me that. Show me one scholar say that this hadith is fabricated. Okay, okay? If, if I can I show, if I show you Ibn Kathir says that this hadith is merciful, which therefore makes it weak, would you accept my that? Friend, my friend, I have Ibn Kathir in the front of me. Okay, so if he says that, would you accept it? Okay, show me what Ibn Kathir okay. said. Let's, let's read together. Give me a second. I will have to just um, find it first, and then mm. I'll, I'll come back. Just give me a minute. Mm. Okay. All right. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> you see the page in front of me. Right now, I can't because I'm just doing this. Uh. Okay. Okay. So, um, this is on Siratul, sorry, Sirat al Nabawiya. Okay. Actually, let me pull this up um, on my channel via my um, uh, uh, thing. Shinarat, let me just quickly show it. Okay, so it says here, what aura here is, what aura stated here is Mursa, incomplete, as we mentioned above, but in its content, it must be judged as mutasil, uninterrupted. This is because, this is so because Urwa, the narrator, is transmitting a conversation to which he was not a party to, as is clear from the text. Also, he was too young to have witnessed this meeting. And this is in reference to, um, you know, the, the meeting of Aisha and their marriage and so forth. Okay, this is what Ibn Kathir says in his uh, Sirat al-Nabawi. Ibn Kathir, in the book of Al-Bidaya wa Nihaya, mm -hmm. verse number three, page number 161. Say the opposite. Okay. Uh, well, then he could be contradicting himself. I'm gonna uh, for for my audience to see. I did not confirm what you are saying there. I'm you gonna, see, because gonna, because Ibn Kathir he report an opinion of others, but this is his opinion. You see, when Ibn Kathir he report for you something, so Ibn Kathir sometimes he say, and some they say etc etc. So he's reporting the opinion of others, but here you will see, and this is not my statement. I'm not, I'm not the one. I'm showing the screen. I'm not the one even who wrote this article. This is. This is the website. Here we go. Let me go up. Al Islam Sualum wa Jawab. Al Mushrif al Am, Al Sheikh Muhammad Saleh al Munjid. This is a big sheikh in Saudi Arabia. It's very well known. All right. And this is Islam, Islam K, K A, Fatwa, that onfo, that com. Sorry, that onfo. All right. You see the website? All right. So he is the one who's quoting. I'm not, I'm not the one who's quoting. So I'm just showing you what it, it, they say. So, my friend. You are just confusing yourself about something is not exist and those scholars there is no way they will spend their time and no they, they will not even dare to mention what they are mentioning if it is not accepted because they will be humiliated and look here what he says uh, let me teach you something about islam the muslim they go by ijma what is ma mean so if the majority agree with it, it's mean it is ma'soom. What ma'soom mean? It's mean it's absolutely correct. Because Muhammad, he said that the nation will not agree in something wrong if the nation agree on it, all right? Which means the majority. And reported by at -Turmuzi. And then he says, uh, even in the Quran it says, Inna Allah la ummati ala dalala. So even the Quran says that Allah the story of the prophet says that Allah will never let my nation agree in something wrong. So this guy is confirming to you there is no way that all of us, the majority, agree with this because that would be a total contradiction with the teaching of the prophet where he says that Allah will not allow a deception to fear in my nation 
if the majority agree on something. So here he continues saying, كاتب المقال المذكور أوقعه جهله وتعصبه لقوله الباطل في كثير من الكذب والتدليس. Let me translate for you. The one who wrote this article, the same as your article, he is. I'm not. I'm not saying you are what he's saying. He's talking about the guy who made this article. He is an ignorant, and he is uh, like let us say uh, uh, fanatic, saying false and fabricating a lot of lies and deceiving. And that he is doing that to be victorious by his fabrication or false fiction. And then look what he says. فمن ذلك مثلا ما ذكره عن ابن كثير في البداية والنهاية. Look, he's just showing to you that some people they fabricate even about ابن كثير. He says that he mentioned a lie about ابن كثير. It's mentioned in the book of Al Bidaya and Nihaya about women who they before they became Muslims. And he mentioned Asma. The daughter of Abu Bakr and Aisha, wa hiya sagira. فكان إسلام هؤلاء في ثلاثة سنين. So they are saying that the fabricated stories from Ibn Kathir is not even there. And he said, and we we could not find this in the book of Al Bidaya and Nihaya in the book of Ibn Kathir. We could not find it. So Muslims they always do that. Okay, so if I can get a chance okay. to if I can get a chance to speak right now on my hold on. Do you remember we said me and you? Mm -hmm. That the hadith about when Aisha she was at the age of fourteen that she did not reach yet the uh, the age of uh, 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 of menstruation. Yep, yeah, I'm with you. All right. Here okay. he says, and it's confirmed by the majority that Aisha was born four years after the prophet became a prophet. Is that good? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Okay. That's wonderful. So now, all what you need to do. Go and calculate the years between okay. Aisha's birth date. And this is not from this guy, Omar. Forget about this uh, Urwa, sorry. Forget about this Urwa. Urwa is a liar. He is a shish kebab. All right? Go ahead and calculate what the age of, uh, of, uh, of uh, Aisha, when, she, you know, what, 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 what like uh, Muhammad, he was, he was a prophet for four years already when Aisha is born. And then we go and see what happened in Khaybar, what year it was Khaybar, and then we can find the difference between them. All right. So and then he says, and all the all, all the reference agree, with no exception, all of them they agree. Okay, right? So that Aisha she was uh, 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 ten years uh, uh, older than Aisha. He's quoting the person, and then and he says, but that is not true. He said uh, uh, the Imam Al Zahabi he mentioned fi Sirat Al Alam Al Alam Al Nubla, volume number three. Page number five two two, that Asma كانت أسن من عائشة ببضع عشرة سنة انتهى. Okay. والبضع في العدد ما بين ثلاثة ثلاثة والعشر. And well, he's saying what what the word بضع mean? بضع it means between three to nine to to ten. So anyway, this guy, if you want, I'm going to post for you this link in the in the chat. Go study it, search it. And see why those Muslim scholars they are saying and confirming okay. that Aisha age was like this. And tell, then you need to, you know, to you check why. yourself and see. I mean, obviously. I could tell you uh, why the only uh, the only reason why they're saying that is because there's they've accepted the hadiths from Hisham ibn Urwa. If there was no hadith about right. Hisham from Hisham no, ibn Urwa. No, 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 no. You see, you are stuck with it. this is your problem. You see, we are quoting things have nothing to do with the Urwa. I know because they can't. They when can't. Aisha is born, when 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 Khaybar when Khaybar happened, okay. those are not from Urwa. All right, can I can I just speak right? The reason the the, the way that they are able to do these calculation is based upon the hadith of Hisham ibn Urwa. If there was no hadith saying that she was nine years old, can you show me how these scholars would have made that calculation? It's impossible. They're basing uh, all of this no, off the hadith. There's that no she connection was between them because each one of them he report what a different a different incident. And as an example, they are not talking about when he married her. They are talking about that she was at that age when she still yet don't have her period. And they mention an incident which is a war with Khaybar. That's it. They are not mentioning Urwa. They have nothing to do with Urwa. What are you talking about? Okay, but the reason why they're saying that she hasn't had their period is based upon the hadith that's coming from Hisham ibn Urwa. Friend, no, it's this has upon... nothing to do with that. This is the different report that Aisha, she there was a, there was a question why Aisha she was allowed to play with her dolls. Okay, and where does the hadith okay. come from about about okay. Aisha playing friend, with friend, dolls? Friend, it's coming friend, from Hisham. My friend, my friend, in order to understand, let us say you ask me. Like now, the whole topic is about what? About Aisha, she is six or not, right? 
Yeah. So for sure, we have to mention everything in connection. This is one religion, one name, one woman. So whatever, whatever in connection, we have to come with the conclusion. And how we can get that? We have to go and search all the books in, 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 the, in the shelves. So we cannot say because of Urwa, he mentioned that. Now we are talking about this. But that's the only way you can Some do excuse. because there's, Same, there's no other hadiths from anybody it. else that's saying that she was. Go ahead. Go ahead. You, I, just one they are, you, you said because those scholars they agree with the hadith of Arwa, correct? Correct. Okay. Why do they agree with him? Because it's written with inside of Sahih Bukhari and, and the no, remainder no, of them. No, and that's no, the only reason why they agree. Don't you know? Don't you know that those scholars of Islam, who they are big sheikhs, they are under a lot of watch from Muslims, which means if they say something false, they will lose their reputation and maybe they might get killed. 100%. You, know? 100%. you know how dangerous this business is, right? Yes. So why they want to defend the Hadith when they should not defend it? Because this is the nastiness that they're doing in their country, such as Yemen. They're actually having sex with these 9, 10, 11 year old Friends. women, girls. Sorry. This is not reason. This so is not reason. This is not a reason. <laughs> you see, you are, you are, you know, I'm talking to you. You are a mature man. Actually, I like you. I respect you too. Mm -hmm. But let, let me let me talk to you, uh, Kalam, in a different way. You know, this is not a reason to make a conclusion. This is religion. This is not my, my opinion. This guy is not going to go and get married from six years old girl. And this is why he is making things up because if this is the case, the Muslims still will kill him. He have to come with reasoning. As you see, this is why he is he is not just saying, okay, it is how it is. You like it, you don't like it. I believe this. No, he's quoting for you reference after reference after reference after reference, and all of this to prove to you a point. And then you will find not even one Muslim. You see, there is there is a there is a guy. I don't know if you heard of him. He is a Muslim cleric, big scholar in Saudi Arabia. Now he is facing 37 account of death for seeing a dream. What is the crime? He saw a dream. In the dream, he saw Muhammad. Muhammad, he said something to him. For that reason, they are going to crucify him, put nails in his hands, cut his feet, cut his hands, and let him die slowly. Just for seeing a dream. Amen. So imagine this guy is making a fabrication, something the Muslims don't accept. Indeed. Imagine what will happen to him. Indeed, can I just quickly so say, my, 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 my friend, my friend, can I, you, you know, look, obviously, you know, you have your opinion and you, you will, you, you will be uh, uh, focusing on it, no problem. But as you see, the Muslim they say it's Sahih. For me, as a Christian, I have to go with Muslims they say. All right. And when I see the Muslims, it's not a guy who said. That this guy, or this hadith is Mursal. You know, I have to go, the Muslims go by the majority. Indeed. If the majority agree on something, then you go with it. This is what they say. Indeed, and I, and I don't disagree with that. And that's why the majority is agreeing, going ahead with falsehood. They know it's false, but they still continue. Let me just quickly read this, okay? Again, I'm sharing my screen so my audience can see this. It clearly says here what Aura stated here is Mursal, incomplete, as we mentioned above in his content, okay? They've, they, he's clearly said it, clear as day, but this is the cognitive dissonance that starts to kick uh, in. Do you know hold, what Mursal means? Hold on, yeah, do you, I, yeah, I do, hold do on. Know what just, mean? Oh, let me ask you first, do you know I, what Mursal means? I do, let me just finish my point and then, and then we can speak. No, no, what, what Mursal means? Tell me. Let me finish my point and I'll, and I'll tell you what Mursal uh, means. Understand. No, tell me what Mursal uh, means I, because I will tell you are missing your argument soon, in the word Mursal. What Mursal means? I will, I will do it as soon as I finish my argument. I'm, it's only gonna take 10 seconds, okay? Go ahead. So he basically said it's Mursal, so he knows it's incomplete. But in its content, it must be My judged. My friend, who as... said to you that the word Mursal mean incomplete? No, this is the translation here. I'm not saying that this is what it means. This is the translation that's on I'm English. Asking you then, English. Um, let me repeat then. You see, you keep saying, let me finish my point, but you do not, because you don't know what Mursal, you keep, you are basing your judgment in the word Mursal. What Mursal mean? Christian Prince, if I could just finish my, my, my 10 seconds and my I friend, can explain to you My friend, why you don't tell me what Mursal mean? Because I just want to finish my point first. No, tell me first what Mursal, because this word I did not understand that I want to learn from you what okay. the word Mursal means. I know. Let me just finish my point and I'll tell you what well, it means. Me first, no, you know, you know, I know, you know, I don't know. You, I want to learn from you. Tell me All what right. Mursal means. Oh, gosh. Anyways, it says here, but must be judged as Mutasil, okay? My friend, Uninterrupted. You and you have to, to ask yourself the question. Mean? What Mursal mean? Mursal just basically means that it's loose, it's unconnected. There's a break in the chain, basically. Connected to who? Sorry? Connected to who? Connected to, to um, Muhammad. How that can be? I mean, how you can be connected to Muhammad? The hadith is not even mentioned from Muhammad. Exactly, but it, it, the hadith literally are 
the narrations, what Muhammad said, the actions of Muhammad, and the things that he allowed or was permissible in front of him. My so friend, this, so this is so this connected. It is not necessarily about Muhammad saying. So, so it, it's I about know it, anyone it, it, from it, the companion. Listen, you do not know what are you talking about. Who said that the hadith is what come from Muhammad only? Any one of the companion, he says something is called hadith, and this is the wife of the prophet reporting what happened to her. Yes, there is. Well, hadith is something that's connected to the prophet in terms of his actions, the things that the companions narrate. That's false, my friend. That's false. That's okay, false. in exclusion. Well, let me just let me finish this. Hadith, the Mursal Hadith is coming from somebody he is considered a tabi'i. A tabi'i means as a follower, which means somebody was not first hand witness in the time of the story. As simple as that. So, exactly. what your knowledge about Mursal is exactly not true. Right. Mursal means a chain that is interrupted, is interrupted. Exactly. So let me quickly finish, right? So it is, it is Mursal, and that's, and I gave the definition of what Mursal actually means. No, you give me, you give me a wrong definition, my friend. How can you tell me? It's, a, it's, a, to Muhammad. it's not connected. It's a chain that's interrupted. The chain is interrupted. It's not complete. It's, inter yeah. it's right. It's interrupted. And it's interrupted exactly. So I've given you the definition of. Who of is the one talking there? I sorry, sorry, um, M Stacks. I need you to just mute your mic out, right? So I've given you the definition. It's not false. Yeah, I could, like there's somebody I can, is telling you what to say to me. No problem. I've, I said exactly the same thing. I could bring it up now. I could bring up. No, who is the guy who's talking? Why you don't let him talk to me? Because there's no need. There's no need. He's just. Here. No, let him talk to me. I mean, obviously you are repeating what he's saying. I heard him saying exactly what you said. You are repeating exactly what he says. So you are not even talking for yourself. You claim. I, I gave. It I gave, you the, I gave you the answer. Claim, and he claim that this is your conclusion, and now we find that you are not telling the truth. It's somebody telling you exactly what to say. Okay, M Stacks, are you telling me what to say? Well, we heard him. M Stacks, exactly. let, let, no, M Stacks, can you unmute your mic real quick? Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm just coming on the fact that Mursal means interrupted. That the brother Kalam was right. He means an interrupted and misleading chain. All right. So, anyways, Christian Prince is hanged up again, I believe. Right, so it's, it's it's a mad thing. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know what God go on for Christian Prince. You know, like you know, he's cool. The information he drops on his channel is cool, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you lot let me know what's going on. Whether I was being disrespectful or not. Whether I was um I don't know bringing out any falsehoods. You lot let me know. Yeah. I don't think I am, right? I just don't think he, he wants this information to be brought up. And the problem is, um, truth be told, you know, like Christian Prince is used to debating with Muslims and it's easier that way because, you know, they, they, the Muslims are on a one track mind and they will be going along with what Christian Prince is saying because the scholar says it, therefore it must be true. And that's not the way to actually handle things in an academic fashion. We have to get where are these scholars getting this opinion from? Where is the scholars getting that Aisha was, you know, 14 years of age? And how did they work it out? You can't just simply say, a scholar said she was 14. Okay, what is the scholar basing it upon? Is there a narration? Is there anything that connects it? There isn't anything that connects it. Everything is leading back to one spot, Hisham ibn Urwa. Hisham ibn Urwa has been rejected um, you know, by his contemporaries, the contemporaries him, themselves, who are the great, um, you know, uh, faqih, uh, like all reject him. They all reject him. Okay, it's only the people in Iraq that actually accepted him and then continued his narrations because they didn't know any better. All right. Um, so yeah, family tree. I'm not actually going to call back Christian Prince, but if you enjoyed, um, if you enjoyed the discussion that me and Christian Prince actually had. Okay, uh, <laughs> Madam said, wow, new respect to your level of patience. Uh, give thanks, man. Um, do you know what it is here? Yeah? Like when you like honestly believe and, and know that you're standing upon truth, right? You're standing upon your sources. You, you know, you will have patience. Like I'm not here to, you know, I'm, I'm, I'll have the patience because I know I can back it up with my receipts time and time again. There ain't nothing that nobody could say to me because I'm, you know, as I said before, like a, a, a true scholar, is both a, a soldier, like so brave, but he's also a coward, right? So my cowardice here is me hiding behind my sources, all right? If you're gonna attack me, you can't. You first have to get through to my sources. When you get through to my sources, that's when you can attack me personally. And I'm always gonna fight you hard, right? With my sword, which is my sources all day long. And I can't be beaten if I've done my due diligence, which I know I can't be beaten because I can present all the information 
um, you know, to hand. I can go through the Quran with you and present all the information. I can go through the Hadith with you and present all the information. We can play the game of, you know, what scholar says this, okay? Ibn Kathir actually says this, Mursal. By the definition, if it's not supported by anything, um, by another Hadith of stronger um, suit, therefore it is weak. It's a weak Hadith. But somehow, you know, Ibn Kathir says, I know it's weak, I know it's Mursal, but we have to say it's Mutasil. For what reason? What what rationale do you give Ibn Kathir? None at all. So we realize that there is, you know, that's how you can now look at the scholars work and say, hey, hey, you tried to pull a little fast one there, Ibn Kathir. Uh, we caught you, right? But we can see, we can go through the other um, sources. We can see, you know, I, I showed it, you know, perfectly in my opinion, right? We can, uh, where, where are we? Let me quickly go back up to show you Hisham Ibn Orwa stuff, right? We can go right here. Oh, no. Sorry, and I'm gonna get you guys to come on, don't worry. I'm gonna get you guys to come on. So we can go through Hisham ibn Urwa, right? We can go through it all and we can see what everybody had to say. And to make it worse, we can do this in the actual Arabic. And this is why I had M. Sax on here, right? M. Sax, are you there? M. Sax, right? If you're there, let me know. Like, and this is the reason why, because I, I had him here, because I wanted to make sure that it, it, you, you, can't, you, you can't lie. I can't lie. All right. We've got what they say. We got what the scholars say about um Hisham ibn Urwa. They tell you that yeah. he was rejected for various different reasons. Maliki, Maliki talks about him. Can you just pull up what Maliki has to say about him? Um, yeah, what Malik has to say about him. Yeah. Right here. We go up here. So what Malik ibn Anans. Do you want to read it out? Maybe. Can you just uh, send me? Oh, I'm on my phone and okay. Don't worry about it. But we, we've done this time and time again, right? We, we've done it time and time again. What Malik says about him, so we know what Yaqub ibn Shaybah says about him. We know um, who else? We know what um, Abu Hassan ibn Katan says about him. We know what the people of says about him. We know what the of Iraq says about him. We know what Ahmed says about him. Like we even know who else is there. I think there is even a few more people that says certain things about him um, as well. We've got all of this evidence to back up what we're saying. So it's nothing, you know, what I'm saying to you is nothing that I've made up out of thin air. I'm just... Mm. But anyways, um, let me give you guys the link. Shouts out to... Um, I think it's Imran Khan. All right, so shouts out to Imran Khan. He's your doctor. Has he left a message? No, he hasn't. Uh, shout out to Imran Khan. He's, you know, constantly supporting Times TV. He's dropped... Um, a crazy donation, yeah. So love to you, Imran Khan, for dropping that crazy donation, right? Yeah, support to you, love you guys for um, supporting Times TV, right? Here is the link. Okay, I want you guys to come on. Let me know how it was, how did it go, and so forth. Um, yeah, let me know. Let me know. Um, Sarah, if you're in, jump in. Uh, to hear watch, let me know what you think. What a bing. Let me know what you think as well. No, you know, just took an impression. Yeah. Would you say it's hard to debate uh, Christian Prince due to his bad mannerism? Um, you, you know what it was? This, this to me wasn't a debate. This was more of a discussion. But you can see that it, it is very difficult to, to get your your views across with Christian Prince. I won't. I won't deny that. Let me go to Buddha Bing um, and see what what, what are your thoughts. Yo, I believe it. it's it's a it's a Christian extremist right there. I don't think he um I don't think he portrays the the true values of a Christian. But having said that, what do I know about Christianity? Um, most of the Christians I know have uh, encountered in my lifetime have been some of the most beautiful people I've ever met. Um, I find I find his attitude uh, again. His attitude is very similar to the gentleman who's just joined. I find he's, he, has a, he has a habit of talking down to people. He's All not right. very personable. Give me, sorry, give me a second. Yeah. But I stay there. Yeah, stay there. One, second. one second. I'm going to get back to you. Give me one second. Um, Omar, uh, what was your thoughts? Wow. 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 You know what? Yeah. You know, I'm like, I'm a bit biased in it because obviously I'm with you. Yeah. But let's just look at it subjectively or objectively. 
when someone hangs up the phone, yeah, I believe universally that's considered tapping, right? No, it's not. It's not, Omar. It's like, you know what? You're not worthy of me wasting my time and talking to you. So, you know what? Forget about it. Bye. Okay. That, that, that's yeah, that's that. Oh, well, let me get back to you. Let no. Me to you. I'm going to uh, turn it quickly. In the debate. I want, give me a second, Omar. I'm going to come back to you again with the same question, right? Let me get uh, Takia Watch, then Kelly Arm. So, Kelly Arm, I'm uh, sorry, um, Takia Watch, what was your thoughts? Well, can you hear me? Yeah. I just thought that this was a lost opportunity. Um, lost opportunity. I think that the biggest loser was the audience. I think that we could have learned a lot. I mean, you could have presented your evidence and we could all hear it and he could um, dismiss that or confirm that or he could say, I have to look it up. And then he could present his evidence and then you could look at it and we could have learned a lot. Um, without a moderator, this was chaotic. And I think you were unfairly, unfairly treated, no doubt about it. But I think the biggest losers were um, the audience and um, big up for your manners that you could stood your ground and uh, still um, behave in the way that you did. Who was the real Christian prince on that panel, Takia? All right, Middlesex, hold on, hold on. Mute your mic, mute your mic. I'm going to get back to you in a minute. Let me just quickly go to Kelly on. I want to make sure that everybody has their say, all right? Maybe we can open up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me jump in. I, uh, I think you could consider this like a milestone, uh, Kalam, from the other side. I think even though, you know, the, the guy uh, stacks or something tried to help you out, he shouldn't be interrupting you. I think he... You and him were like on a good level. Uh, CP actually had a certain moment calm down, trying to be, uh, you know, listening to what you have to say because you have to understand he has his own channel. He has his, uh, you know, he has his reputation. So it's like he has to put that a little bit aside for to get an understanding between you and him. And I think I really uh, adore that you uh, were stay calm you know because of the treatment that he usually does and uh yeah i, I uh, give you that uh i give you that kalam yeah that's that's a nice thing oh. still though i hope uh, this will be another opportunity to give him a, another approach to have uh to to to, to say that it, it it it's good that to be, have a decent conversation maybe to uh to have a good understanding of each other not just to uh you know crash that's that's not that's not necessary Definitely. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, just mute your mic out quickly. And um, hopefully, Takia Watch, right? Maybe you can salvage this. I, I, I personally just wanted this to be a quick discussion. And hopefully, like our audience members will kind of call out for this. We can do a proper debate. And hopefully, we can do it on your channel. But just reach out to Christian Prince in your own good time and see if he would actually like to engage. But I, I, I fear that he may not want to actually engage because, of course, I'm not a Muslim. So I know he really wants to go against the Abduls. Any Abduls there? Any Abduls? So he may not want to debate me like that um because there'd be nothing to really gain as such but you know in terms of education wise i think everybody can gain from this but you let me know your thoughts Takia. yeah i mean so um the reason why i said that the biggest loser was the audience is because i think that you are a library library of knowledge and uh, regardless of, of this manners that we saw from from cp this is not what i see normally sure he interrupts but not like this this was a crazy crazy energy and he is a library as well so um Regardless if you're Muslim or not, you are a library and it would be great to hear your arguments. Um, so for that reason, uh, I can try to to, uh, to reach out to him. I called him in, by the way, before, and he turned my my phone, my call down. Yeah. He's like, no Christians are allowed to call in. And he was really, really wild. I've never seen him like this before. Mm. Um, but I can, I can do an effort. But I, I really think that we can gain a lot from, from having a decent conversation. But I told you, Kalan, in advance that you need a moderator for this. Indeed. Um, this was crazy. Yeah, I did not feel good about this at all. Oh, no, basically, he was hiding behind the Arabic. Once, um, uh, once he asked Callum the question about Mursal, and Callum got it right. He was actually agitated, and he was talking about it's not the chain of uh, the Mursal is basically an it's not the it's not is a what's it called the science of hadith, and it's basically saying the chain of narration is interrupted, which Callum got precisely right. And once I claimed, when I, once I re reaffirmed what Callum said, he got angry. And that's when no 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 he was angry like an hour ago um but I, I, when he calmed down I'm, I'm gonna do another sh another try so yeah. I'm, I'm gonna leave right now yeah uh, Jolie Tanner says uh Christian Prince wants you on the call with him yeah you say that 
<laughs> so if you want to, M Stacks, right, um, you can go onto his channel on YouTube. Yo, Kalam. Yep. Do you know what he thinks? Yeah? He, he thinks that M Stacks was giving you the information all day. That's I wasn't. I wasn't. I say all about Allah, I wasn't. Allah. And he I thinks M Stacks is more knowledgeable. That's I know. A lot, a, lot of, um, you know, a lot of people are really underestimating me, right? They see this little, you know, this, 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 this black boy, this black man, right? They see me and they just think like, huh? They underestimate me. We've seen it with the Sunni Dao team yeah. of Muslims. They think, ah, oh, he must be getting his information from the Shias. The Shias are feeding him with this information. But really, can I add one more thing, Kalam? Sorry, it was yeah. like you have you were having parallel conversations. Like I was having my iPhone and my iPad at the same time to see. Like the audience did not see what you were seeing on his channel and, and the opposite. Yeah. Um, it was like you're talking to two, two different audience. It was just very weird. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're getting set up. <laughs> All right, so let me open it up now so where you guys can actually have your say um, and speak much more, I don't know, unreservedly. Okay, so now that everybody has actually spoken, I, no, actually, sorry, we've got a few more people that haven't actually spoken. So TJ... Yeah, let me jump in uh, when you're ready, T. Yeah, TJ Singh and then Abdi Khalik, and then afterwards, Buddha Bing has, like, free reign to say what he has to say. All right, so TJ, did you have anything that you wanted to add? Uh, no, somebody can speak. Okay, perfect. Abdi Khalik, did you have anything you want to say? No, man. Uh, I think it was, uh, it was all right. That's it. That's all I could say. Awesome. All right. And I just want to quickly, before I get Buddha Bing on, it's just to say shout out again yeah, to Imran Khan for donating another big wh whopping £100, right? So salute to you for actually supporting. Salute to John McDermott as well for actually supporting us as well. Constantly, every show, uh, the brothers are actually dropping money in, in and supporting Times TV. Hopefully, this will help us to grow, help us to expand, and help us to continue the awesome work that we're doing right now. And guys, for those of you guys who can't donate, there is one way that you can donate as well, by simply hitting the like button, and that actually helps us to you know uh, reach different audiences. So please, um, you know, hit up the like button and show us some love. All right, um, Buddha Bing, go ahead, King. Yo, you know what? I, I'm gonna do this, right? You know, you know me already. Whenever I see certain man, certain Muslim guys that are extremists, I call them out, and I'm gonna have to put Christian Prince on a low level extremist list. Um, Taki is making his way there as well. He's um, on the watch list. Yeah. Do you know what? It, it would appear that the way in which he interacts with people, he, he shows them very little regard. And for a person of, 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 of his standing of knowledge of Christianity and he claims to be a Christian, I find it very, very difficult to understand why he treats people the way he treats people, the way he speaks to people. Um, I'm really disappointed Takia cut. He's jumped out. Now. This is three days I've been chasing him. But you know what? We'll catch up soon. But um, yeah, he, in my opinion, he's somewhat of an extremist. All right. Um, again, I, I'm going to say, yeah, like family members, right? No matter what, like your, like your opinion, I, I respect your opinions, family. But again, I'm always going to hold Christian Prince, I'm sorry, up there as one of the greatest, um, you know, YouTubers that us that is actually speaking on Islam and bringing up very controversial topics and enlightening things that most non-Muslims and non-Arabic speakers won't not even have a clue about. So let me shout out Christian Prince for his great works that he does do. And I will, um, you know, tell you guys here, yeah, like, go there, subscribe to him. If you're a Muslim, go there, subscribe to him, um, you know, question him, you know, engage with some debates and just learn the different side of the arguments, right? And if you're a non-Muslim, Christian especially, I would definitely say to go there, learn uh, the stuff that Christian Prince has to actually say. You know, he's a very, very knowledgeable man. Again, uh, Takia did say he's like a, a walking library. And I would tell you that he is a walking library and you can learn a lot from him. Very humorous man to actually listen to as well. So please don't think that there's any bad blood, especially from my side against Christian Prince. Like, that is, he's, he's, he's the man to me still, right? So don't get twisted. All right, but I still respect yeah. what you guys have. Just, sorry, just to, just to mm -hmm. clarify, I don't dispute his intellect or his mm -hmm. knowledge. Um, I just think his delivery leaves a lot to be desired for. Uh, Kalam, can I tell you something? Uh, hello? Yeah. yeah. I just want to say, uh, do you understand actually what happened here? I think... What you actually demonstrated is that you, and for me, like as a from a Christian understanding, is that you showed humbleness. That it means this is how humbleness actually is victorious in that sense, uh, because you already 
like you said right now is that um you 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 you, you treated somebody superior to you actually that's what actually a, a teaching of jesus this is what you actually demonstrated how it's uh, beneficial you know that's why that's why i said yeah. use the christian prince on the on the panel that's why i that's, asked that's the what i'm saying you know what uh, kelly allen uh yeah non-christian gave the, the the christian a lesson in christianity and that's immense that's immense yeah yeah that's what, and that's why i was asking to i was like who was the christian prince on the on the panel today and he just he just left the panel still like to be honest that keeps running, uh, but I'm gonna catch I catch him still. Watch. Yeah, he he. Now he's all right still, but you know the thing is with 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 Christian Christian Prince here, he he's garnered like a, a reputation for himself, yeah, as as a guy of um a guy with um knowledge and etc. and stuff like that, yeah, and above, you know, he's someone that we we look up to and 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 learn from, yeah. But he displayed like the lowest level. He displayed a level of a troll almost. Like he wouldn't let you speak even. Bro, do you know how much disrespect that is? Imagine me and you're talking about something. Yeah. Me and you ain't talking about something like EastEnders or Neighbours or something. You know? We're talking about religion. <laughs> man, just fling down the phone like he's... You know what? You ain't work... You know what? Oh, my. Shut up, man. Put the phone down. Who are you? What that's, that's, that's what I was saying to you, brother. I was saying to you, I was saying to you, when he put the phone down, you know that's a tap, right? No, it's not a tap, bro. It's just showing pure disrespect. Tapping bro, but if, is you're, like, if you're, if you're tapping in combat, like, you if you're in combat... I can't talk right now. I've got to go. Later. Right, Sorry, right, something please, else is... I get that. That's tapping out. But you know what? You know when you fling down the phone like you're a nobody, like, I don't even want to talk to you. That's just like showing disrespect. That, no, but from, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I get you saying like, oh, he didn't, he had no, he had no, he, he deemed um, Callum to, to be like inferior to him in, in all sense. He goes, because I remember, because I went back, I quickly flicked over to his channel and rewind it a bit. And he goes, you know what? The conversation's done. There's no need to talk. So he purposely hanged up the phone, and I said, "Don't." I said, "Don't call back." But okay, what I'm trying to say is, whatever, whatever his reasons are, if you're in combat and you leave the field of battle, that's either a DQ or you tap. Do you understand what I'm saying? You've given up. I give up. I cut the phone, and it wasn't like it wasn't like okay. <laughs> You can give let me say this, brother. Yeah, you can give you can cut the phone. Yeah, you can you can tap out or you can like uh, disqualify yourself here yeah, from the contest. Yeah, if the person is flagrantly cheating, i.e., like talking over you, muting you, da 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 da, etc. etc., and not playing by the rules. If anything, Callum should have hanged up the phone and DQ'd himself, but he yeah. didn't. He DQ'd himself and he was cheating the whole way through. Come on, fam, man. This is. Anyway, to anyone who knows the game, knows what, what it really is, isn't it? What, what, what's understood ain't got to be explained. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. To me, to me, it's like, you know what? When you knock someone out, you just walk away. Guys on the floor. It's, it, that was, that's what I got anyway. That's what I got. Yeah, but you have to KO the person. If the person's standing there going, let me tell you how... Like, it's like... It's like let me just yeah, no, I, let me just let me just remove my arms from the back because my arms are tied up now and then then we we'll, you know we can we can carry on the fight because right now you're just not even letting me talk I've got both my arms tied behind my back and I'm still not damaged I'm still not nothing I'm ready to like fire at you now well just let me know when I know, fire you know what you need to use the analogy of boxing it feels like the guy come to the ring yeah yeah and didn't even wait for the bell just <laughs> didn't come and then just walked out that that's that's what the kind so, of thing. <laughs> Now he's head butting, he's doing this. Yeah, There's no referee exactly. in the ring. There's no moderator in the ring. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. He's doing all sorts of things. And my man's just ducking, dodging, you know what I'm saying? Not really, as in Callum, he's, he's rolling with the punches and he's, he's da-da-da-da-da. You get me? But, exactly. I mean, really, then he jumps out the ring. He's like, I've won and I've run out. Oh, there's no need for me to fight anymore. And then he goes, because you know what I'm saying? Like, look, bro, that's not even, that's, this is clear cut. I'm not even trying to even be half biased. If I was being like even a tiny bit biased right now, I'd be like, oh my God, that was the most disgusting display of Christianity. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even going down that road. I'm just like, okay, ob no, just objectively speaking, you bodied, you, 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 you tap twice. Yeah, you, you just, you DQ'd yourself. If you DQ yourself, that means you tap. And you wasn't even letting my man, you weren't even playing by the rules of the game. So you're just playing by next rules. It's like Messi versus a three-year-old, or like a five-year-old kid, yeah? Obviously, Messi's going to win. Far. You got too far. You're saying Messi and then kind of 
No, 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 listen to what I'm saying to you. Listen to what I'm saying to you. No, no, listen, listen to what I'm saying to you, buddy, yeah? Because here it is. This is a very good analogy I just thought of. If Messi, if someone was to say to you, Messi is going to play a one-on-one -on -one game with like a 12-year-old kid, yeah? Right? You know what's going to happen. So the whistle blows. The second that, the second the whistle blows, the second the whistle blows, the 12-year-old kid picks up the ball in his hand. Messi just standing there watching and he runs. He's like doing a, a frigging penguin wobble. Yeah, he's that young. He's running, running, running and throws the ball in the goal. And Messi's like, hold on a minute. Is, we have to play by the games for me to win, obviously. You know what I'm saying? If you just pick the ball up and run and play rugby while we're playing football, yeah, you could, I suppose, is that considered a win? I don't, I don't know. That's, that's what I saw it as. <laughs> that's like, what? That's, that's the most random explanation I've ever heard, man. <laughs> it, was so, it was so apt, wasn't it? Uh. Well, I, I just want to consider this, all right? I mean, if I if I just uh, try to analyze what just happened, I, I like the analogy. However, I think that uh, Christian Prince, you know, I think that's what Kalam also might recognize. Even though Christian Prince might have a lot of knowledge, in this case, I think that Kalam show, shows the, the his, his personality to be much more mannered in this sense. That That's what I go with. And that's why I think... Uh, uh, Kalam, uh, I mean, sorry, Christian Prince actually, uh, yeah, he just moved out, uh, basically. I hope to see this again, but then to be more sincere, I think in, in that sense, I agree with Takia that, uh, some, somewhere, if, if like, for example, the, the, the panel, uh, made the, the whole stuff more tense, then that shouldn't be, uh, an, uh, uh something that should, that should interfere it should be a nice debate if this was like crashing with each other and maybe that i hope there will be an opportunity there will be a, a debate being nice to sir if that was possible i don't know but that's what i would hope in that case somebody agree with me or disagree <laughs> yeah <laughs> um yes um, if you want to get my team on quickly oh somebody mute their mouse if you want to get my team, just type, 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 type. I think yeah. I will screen share and uh, make sure that your comments are actually read out. Um, but I, I would like to move it on because I, 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 secretly, I, I don't want to feel as though like I'm talking behind Christian Prince's back. You know, the way he's there. I don't really want to feel, feel that way. So I'm going to ask you guys, right? I think that the uh, Muhammad Hijab and David Wood debate um, is the live stream shall be starting hopefully in the next half an hour. Okay, I believe it's going to start at like 11 p.m. Um, our time over here in the UK. So next 30 minutes. Whose channel is that, bro? Um, that's the actual live stream reaction thing, like a live reaction while it's going on or not. Nah. So if we stay on right now, um, we can actually just watch it um, when it does come on. I, I can share my screen or have how you guys want to do it, and we can oof, actually. You know, you know, secretly, secretly the co main event were the two real big heavyweights, if you ask. <laughs> Indeed, indeed. That's what I want to say. To, to be yeah. honest with you, you know what? If it's anything like what happened just now, it's going to be a mess. No, I don't, hopefully it won't be. No, no. This this is a structured debate. This is actually a structured debate, so it's going to be awesome. Mm. Um, let me quickly see. CP, um, sorry, let me just read out. Let me you know show my audience members the love. And, and on a real, Callum, do you know what? That just shows how shook he really is of, of uh, Mohammed Gumshill. Because look how he's carrying on here. You understand? <laughs> it's, it's, it's an indication for me anyway I, I, yeah. all right um so over here um patrick norman says uh cp really believed and said that callum was being prompted by somebody that uh conspiratorial paranoia made uh get on his high horse and ride out okay well everybody um who was on my channel i was live streaming i was sharing my screen you can clearly see that nobody was talking to me at all um we did have m stacks who did unmute his mic and jump on there was a few people that did add uh to the live stream so they can listen in and hear what's going on and, and so forth and that was marshall asked for the link let me just quickly show you guys so you know i'm not lying where are you where are you somewhere marshall where's marshall at anyways okay maybe i'm lying <laughs> no i'm joking um yeah like kind of link to cp's chat since it's arabic related i'll jump in and there he goes send him the link and so forth and then we have my brother m stacks i sent him the link as well so these are the only individuals that um you know was uh given the link 
because uh, they, you know, they were going to be great people just to come in if they, if necessary, and just to be there. Um, but it was only M Stacks that was actually there. Nobody was giving me any information or anything like that. Um, I confirm that. I confirm what you're saying. I never spoke until the end. Okay. Uh, Callum, to a, quick, to a quick recap of what's happening. Okay, quick recap of what's happening. We had a discussion with Christian Prince um, on both our channels. So you can watch it from my channel if you rewind this video and you can view it or you can watch on Christian Prince's channel as well. And, um, you know, everybody in here can kind of just tell you what kind of happened. I don't really want to rehash it. Um, Paul Moses says, Callum, call back then. No, it's okay. I actually called back twice. Okay, so I don't, I'm not going to call back a third time it's okay um please bro don't take this personally no no it's okay it's fine um make sure i haven't missed anything we've got a scientific method up in the building um let's quickly see callum took the high road while he's panel backbite um there is respect on both sides science tv callum christian prince yeah man christian prince is the man uh, i hope he has the same um you know view of myself as well Let's see. Give Christian Prince some chicken and suya meat. He'll feel better. Hey, 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 hey. I see what you, hey, Jay Boogie, you, you've been checking me, you know. You've been checking me. I know when I dropped that comment. Salute to you, my G. Salute to you. Uh, Sophia Film says there was a big misunderstanding. I hear you. Um, Callum gets scared. And you and Callum go do some researching, says L and Hubbard. All right. True face of Christian Prince. You can't blame him, though. He didn't know. No problem. Um, let's quickly see. Um, he's just heard someone say something to Callum. All right, cool. I messaged CB. You were not in the same place or room. No problem. Again, um, hopefully Takia Watch, if, if he, you know, does actually want to continue this conversation, we could do it on Takia Watch's channel. Um, we're not, you know, and I would really prefer it not be broadcast on Christian Prince's channel. Or my channel, so at least we can give um, to Kia Watch or somebody who's neutral or anything like that the opportunity that they can grow their channel. All right, like we should be able to, you know, aid other people in their pursuit. We should be able to, you know, get our subscribers to go and subscribe to other channels and help their channels to grow as well. So I'm down for that. I don't actually mind doing something like that. Um, let's see, which other Muslims think like you? Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Well done, Callum, says uh, Sam Megatron. Love you, bro. Shouts out to Sophia Films, man. That's my guy. Uh, academic Screechings, let me see. He had a very high opinion of you until he thought you were being guided to say things. All right, no problem. Thanks to you, Sophia Films. Uh, there has to be a consensual agreement between parents. Are they using weak hadiths to make these rulings? Mm. All right. Um, Shouts out to Trolly McTrollface. <laughs> I love that name. Give me some subs. Um, so yeah, Yogi B. I don't know if you're doing something good. Um, you know, people will subscribe to you. I'm not too sure what you're doing. Just let them people know in the comment section what you're up to. And um, yeah, if you're doing something good. Go and subscribe. And don't forget, man, to hit us up on the super chats as well, man. Show your love. Show your love. How much are they paying you, Callum? Um, well, technically speaking, I got a hundred pounds today via super chat, and that's <laughs> and, that, and that's me catching joke. It's not really like they're not paying me to do this stuff. I don't think you know you can pay me to do this stuff. It's just you know it seems though that both sides now are like Callum, you know, you're being paid. Like the Muslims will say Callum is being paid by the Islamophobes, and then when Callum you know says something in favor of Muslims, now Callum is being paid by you know the Muslims, it's like which way do you guys want it? I don't know. Like I'm just giving you my neutral, honest opinion on things uh, based upon my research. I, I'm not doing this for one side or the other side. I don't take sides. The only side that I have is the truth, right? Salute. All right. So, anyways, let's get back into this now. I've read out enough comments, right? Enough comments. So go ahead, um, family. You lot, jump in, um, open up, and speak amongst yourselves. I'll be here in the background. Yeah, so what, nobody don't want to open up. Yeah, go ahead. There you go, carry on. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say, man. I think uh, the, the whole thing spoke for itself. Um, but it's like, um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I saw somebody already commenting, like, how can you, uh, how want, do you want to have this debate again? I mean, I saw somebody also said that, yeah, it's, we already know that. Um, Christian Prince is, 
it's, it's like this it's nothing new so you can expect him to react like this not, yeah that's 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 a truth right there um uh i don't know like how would you approach to have a longer debate that will be lasting longer to get this to get to a certain understanding i mean however still is like i think from if i try to understand from cp side i think he already tried to calm down uh which he probably wouldn't do uh normally to to <laughs> to make this debate a little longer <laughs> you know I, I cannot speak for him but that's what i tried that's what i think i understood and i think uh till till so far it's it's just it's, it's all right i mean he he gave attention to him. he wanted to come to this panel and he wanted to pick up the phone when you called him back uh maybe before that's maybe a lot that he that he does that so it's it's pretty much actually pretty much uh you reach pretty much actually with this so i think it was great to, so far I, I don't have nothing to complain you know the the guy's tax uh when he when he when he got into there uh i think that he suddenly had the idea that it was two versus one and that's why he suddenly hang up he had to uh he, he didn't want to talk anymore so he wanted to head on he wanted to head for the guy for his tax but then uh it, that is it, you got you you got standing he stood uh, suddenly in front of him and it's like cp uh just lost his uh patience at the certain moment but if i if i try to understand cp it's understandable that's what i uh to make up from this all right yeah. all right i don't know man are you not ready to change the topic man i don't know man let me know if you're not ready to change the topic <laughs> Remember, we do have, um, you know, the Mohammed Hijab versus David Wood debate that's going to be going down momentarily. Let me actually share my screen and show you guys what is going on. Do, 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 do. Where are we? So, um, actually, no, let me leave that open. Any predictions on the debate? Yeah, let's see. So, uh, subscriptions. Right. So who's gonna be the moderator of that debate, by the way? It's actually live right now, family. Um I think. Let me just make sure. Yeah, it's live right now. David Wood and Mohammed Hijab is actually there. Now should we actually should we just end the stream and watch the debate or so family, let's end the stream. Okay then. Um yeah, let's actually end the stream. Okay, we've had an excellent time together. Yeah. Um, hopefully after the, I don't know. Let me know, family. You guys, if you guys would like to come on later on, maybe if there is an interim period or after the debate, and then we can actually discuss the debate that went down. Yeah. Uh, Tom, Tom, I think it will be fine. You just need to take a breath, and have a cup of tea, and just recover. <laughs> well, enjoy the debate, and we we come back to you, man. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> So family, um, we're gonna shut down the show, but let me oh, let me give you guys the channel to go to, right? Um, where is it? Sorry, my bad. So it, it hasn't actually started yet. It's just the um, it's just the whatever is going on. The live stream has started. I believe it's gonna start at eleven o'clock. So we still got half an hour. Um, but here is the link. Okay, um, I posted inside of the YouTube chat section. All right, so it's on Axe Apologetics. Let me just double check. Uh, do, 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 do. what's the channel called? Where is it? Oh no, this is Muhammad Hijab's channel. So there is one on Muhammad Hijab's channel, and I believe there is also one on Axe Apologetics. So on Muhammad Hijab's channel, it's going live right now. Um, in terms of the feed, there is another one. Where is it? On Axe Apologetics. So depending if you're Christian or Muslim, and what type of room you want to be in. What? Where's Axe Apologetics? Am I missing something? I know what is the stream lagging? Um, it's 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 not live at present. Okay. Okay. So I did thought there was an Axe Apologetics one somewhere. I can't seem to see it on my um on my screen. So check out the Axe Apologetics channel if you're a Christian as well. Um, but there is a live stream going on right now on Muhammad Hijab's channel. So please do check it out. All right, family tree. Um. I'm going to keep it moving, right? 
And uh, yeah, I'm going to keep it moving. Uh, please make sure you hit up the like button, hit up the like button, hit up the like button. Uh, okay, yeah, please hit up the like button and uh, show some love, family. Show some love. Okay, we're going to sign out now. See you guys on the other side. Oh, man.